right, hello and welcome again to our Fusion 360 tutorial series. Now, as I said, we are going to start working on our rectangles. If you want to go to our rectangles, you can hit this drop down create if you don't already have it in your toolbar. Go down to rectangle. We're going to start with the two point rectangle. The hotkey for this specific one is R. So if you want to use a, a shortcut, R is the key you want to hit. So we're going to have a click it. As I said, you typically want to start out at your origin point, which is right in the center here on this little dot. You can now size the rectangle to whatever you want. You can make more of a square or a rectangle. It doesn't really matter. So once again, like it was on the line command, you can specify um, how long or whatever. But as it's highlighted here in this blue box, this uh, represents your y-axis. So. Um, if you go up, it's positive Y. If you go underneath your origin here, it's negative Y. So we're going to keep it in the positives. Let's say I want to specify 45 millimeters high. We can hit tab just like we did on the line command and we can specify a certain length. So let's do 125 millimeters. Hit enter. You now have a box that is constrained and can be extruded right away. And we will uh, go into more detail what constraints are in a later video. Um, you can also, when you specify the length that you, that you want, before you, uh, oops, there we go, locked on both the X and Y axis, you can take your mouse and put it on the left side, you can put it on your your other negative x, positive y, negative x, negative y, positive x, y, and so on and so forth. You can click, and then you can click or hit enter whenever you are ready. So that is the two point rectangle. We go to a three point rectangle. It's a little different. Three point rectangle. Oh, let me get rid of these lines real quick. So now a three point rectangle is done like so. We'll want to put it on our origin point. This one you can specify an angle that you want it to be on. It doesn't give you the option to type it in, but if you want to put it at an angle, let's say here, you can now make a rectangle off of an angle. You can get it there. You'd have to constrain it since these lines are blue. Like I said, we'll go into that later. Uh, a Three, a center rectangle is, as you would figure, you click on your origin and you can spread it out and it goes in all directions. You can specify your X and Y axis. So 70 is good with me and 140 is good with me. So now, oop, uh, that car 70. And there you go, you have a constrained uh, equal side uh, rectangle. I believe that's all there is for the rectangle in the 2D workspace, so looks like the next video will be on circle, so make sure you stay tuned to that. If you like these videos, I mean, you know, it wouldn't hurt, you know. <clears throat> so if you like these videos, you know, leave a comment, tell me if it's helping you out, uh, give me some recommendations, uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I will see you in uh, the next video, hopefully.